So we take spinach leaves and we perfuse them with a detergent that removes all the cellular material from the uh, spinach leaf. What we're left with is the structure that keeps those cells in place. And then we can seed human cells on that structure. And so the idea here is we have this very thin, flat piece of tissue that already has that vascular network in there. And so we should be able to potentially stack up uh, multiple leaves and create a piece of cardiac tissue. The major limiting factor for tissue engineering a graft and getting it to be into the clinic is the lack of a vascular network. And so techniques can't fabricate microvasculature the way that the body needs it. Um, so without that microvasculature, you lose that oxygen transport. And so as you build a bigger and bigger graft for say like a heart attack on a, you know, a human, you're gonna need something fairly large. So without that vascular network, you get a lot of tissue death. And so our hope is we'll be able to use that uh, vascular system in the spinach leaf to provide the cells that are grown on the leaf with nutrients and oxygen. And so for use in, in cardiac applications, patients who have had heart attacks or myocardial infarctions, part of the heart no longer contracts. And so what we're trying to do is grow cardiac muscle on these leaves, which then can be perfused with a blood source by the veins that are inside the leaf. And so we can, in theory, sew those veins into the native arteries in the heart and therefore uh, produce a contractile muscle that can replace the infarcted or the dead tissue in the heart. In terms of trying to accelerate this towards building actual cardiac tissue, um, we just kind of started looking into whether or not the cardiac cells will attach and will they continue to contract on this spinach leaf, and they do, and they seem to um, stay contractile for a long period of time. They look and act like normal cardiac cells when they're on there, so um, in terms of the small amount that we've you know, been working with, it seems to be very, very promising. We really believe that this scaffold has the capability to help treat you know, patients. It's still a long ways away, but to think about combining the technology that farmers have been using for thousands of years and growing different crops in the field, to be able to just take something as simple as a spinach leaf, which is an abundant uh, uh, plant, and actually turn that into a tissue that has the potential for blood to flow through it is really uh, very, very exciting, and we hope it's gonna be a significant advancement in the field.